My first guest tonight is in uh, Cadillac Records. It's a movie. It's in theaters December the 5th. Take a look at this. Oh, he was the big, bad wolf. Now, the story is he got his name from a dead man who came out the cemetery and tuned his guitar. And he been howling at the moon ever since. Oh, stop your train. Wow. Please welcome my old buddy, Eamon Walker, everybody. Eamon Walker. Thank you good very to much. see you, my friend. Yeah. Uh, we don't need this. <laughs> I am. Um, is that you singing in that? That's me singing. I didn't know you could sing like that. I didn't know I could sing like that either. That's awesome. With the hurt and the growling and everything's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Darlie Martin, she uh, called me up and said, would you like to come along and play Howling Wolf? And I was like, uh, who's in it? Right. Beyonce. Beyonce's in it? Uh, that's yeah. right there, I'm <laughs> with you. Let's go. <laughs> Adrian Brody. I mean, I just said, where do I sign? Where can I? And then I no, that's, I that's fantastic. Yeah. And uh, also, congratulations, because I believe that you uh, you did that, that. You'd always talked about this about playing Othello at the, in, in, in London. You always talked to me about that. Yeah. And you did it, right? At the Globe Theatre? I did it at the Globe Theatre, Shakespeare's house. Yeah. Went and did it. We filled it up. Is this actual day. house? Well, you know. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking. Yeah, right, you okay. know. yeah. You don't so, use words like that around here, buddy. No one will know. <laughs> so, metaphorically, yeah, oh, yeah okay. come on. You do one bit of Shakespeare and suddenly it's <laughs> metaphorically. <laughs> Now, did you, did, did you, did you did, who was in that? Did you, it's Othello, he's, uh, he's, he's Africa, well, he's, where is he? He's a moor, isn't he's he? He's the moor, yeah. Right. Um, uh, Zoe Tapper was my Desdemona. Right. Who was uh, the Argo? Oh, I don't want to talk about him. Oh, really? <laughs> really? All right. Yeah. Uh, ooh, you have to tell me later. Though. I will do. All right, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I love a bit of goss. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I do, though. <laughs> now, listen, uh, the, it's not often, though, you see a black actor playing Othello in Britain, is it? I mean, it's, it's always... Not. Well, it's actually, very politically incorrect, the way they do it. At uh, Shakespeare's house. Right. Uh, th that was the first time in four, uh, 400 years they'd ever had an Othello who hadn't blacked up before. Wow. So it's been at the... It's 400 been, years, though. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they got on it pretty quick, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my lord, really? Know, you were so the first? I was the first. It's in, the at 21st the Globe. century. I know, I know. Good lord. And I was very pleased and very I'll proud. I'll bet, of that. yeah, yeah. Were they nice to you? Did they give you good reviews and stuff? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't read reviews. Uh, the Globe what? itself, I don't read them. Why not? Because if you believe the good ones, you have to believe the bad ones. No, no, that's rubbish. You believe the good ones and throw the bad ones away. <laughs> You don't have to do anything other than that. Who made that rule? Because I've heard that before. Uh -huh. If you believe the good ones, you've got to believe the bad ones. I'm like, bollocks. No, you don't. <laughs> you can just believe the good ones. So you read the yours? You yeah, read all I'll of yours? I the good ones. So I haven't read that many. That's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's... It doesn't bother you then? You just completely ignore it? Uh, I think about it. I yeah. want to. Of course, I'm curious. But yeah. uh, I protect myself from... If I read a bad one, it'll live with me for a long time. Yeah, I know. I, I, I get a bit like that, too. Yeah. Yeah, but then again, I'm not doing a lot of Shakespeare right now. So <laughs> <laughs> but you're doing great. I'm very proud. It's all right, you know. It's all right. It's not Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice to see you back in America, though. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, two years ago when I saw you, we were promoting something else. The show finished the day after I saw you. Yeah, yeah because <laughs> you had said when you were here, come and visit me on the set. And I was yeah. like, yeah, and then the show got cancelled the next day. I the turned up and there was nobody day. there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where's Raymond? <laughs> the hell is this? <laughs> Well, uh, I'm, I'm glad to be back and doing these films. And Cadillac Records is amazing. I'm doing Kings with Ian McShane also. If you want to... Oh, yeah, I know Ian McShane. Yeah, yeah. he's been here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a good man. A very, very, very funny man. Constantly joking all the time. Are you kind of gay for him? <laughs> I beg your pardon. I'm just asking. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> what, about, uh, what about moving here? Are you ready to move here yet? Um, not yet. My kids won't have me move here. Right. Your kids are... What age are you kids now? Uh, 23. My twins are 23. Yeah. And my youngest is 17. Yeah, tell them to get over it. No, no. no. 
I listen to them now. I learn All from right. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're bigger you, than me. You still live in London? I still live in London. Which part? Uh, I'm a West London boy. Really? Know, Port Bella and all that. It's all very expensive round there. It used to be a rough neighbourhood round there. Now it's all very expensive and very chic. Well, I don't know about chic. I can still find the rough spots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you can. You can. You can. In fact, that crack I made earlier on about him being gay for Ian McShane, he's going to kill me for that. Uh. I wondered what you were going to get me for tonight. Yeah, no, I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm just asking if you were. So you, you, you don't think you're moving? Where do you spend your time when you're here? You're mostly in New York, though, right? New York, London, and it was LA a couple of years ago. Right, but when now you were doing now that. between those two. And uh, but I heard that you have now. You're here. I'm an American now. I'm an you're American. You're an American. Citizen. Yeah, absolutely. I'm jealous because yeah. you voted. I wanted to vote. Yeah, no, I voted. No, oh, were you interested in the American election? <laughs> I year? very, very, very <laughs> much. Really. Who would, who, would you, uh, who would you have voted for, <laughs> should you, uh, if you were an American citizen, who would you have voted for, Raymond? <laughs> I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> and then I'll Sarah take Palin, to... <laughs> listen to you, Garble! You betcha. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's interesting. I mean, it, it, it must... what is the reaction like in Britain, actually, to, to the results of the... Uh, I think the world was watching very, very closely. And, and in England, you know, everybody was just kind of, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And so when everybody found out that Obama was in, yeah, the jumping and the cheering wasn't just in America; it was the really. World. It was they were they were very taken. With I had it. I had phone calls going, "You're there! You're so lucky! You're there!" And I was like, right. "Yeah, I am." <laughs> where, you, where were you? I was in New York, right, uh, with uh, my friend Tom Fontana. I know Tom Fontana. He right. gave me my first job in America. You're kidding me. No. He, he gave me my first job in America. Wait, no, he did. <laughs> Tom Fontana and uh, Bruce Paltrow used to be partners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, they gave me a job in a pilot for CBS, actually. It was called High. Oh, wow. And uh, unfortunately, I was high when we met him. <laughs> And I completely, I actually had to find Tom later on and go, look, I'm really sorry about that then. And he was like, I didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? He went, no, and I thought you were okay. Uh, it was just a, the show didn't work out. I went, I thought it was all my fault. He went, you're not that important, Craig. Whoa. <laughs> Well, that told you. Huh? Yeah, that's, that's like a bad review, really, isn't yeah, it? When someone says see. that to you. Yeah. You see, you remembered it. Oh, I did, yeah. Oh, I'll get Fontana back. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Eamon, it's lovely to see you. We're completely out of time. Come and see us again sooner. It's two years is too long. Yeah, All right, definitely. Buddy. All right, good to see you. Thank you, Eamon Walker, everybody.